everyone. So real quick, um, this is not going to be a long one. This could be a short or just like a 10 minute thing. But I just need to show you guys this because it's funny as shit. Um, we're behind on this because we just didn't get to it. But um, I tremendously find the dark Brandon memes funny. Um, it's not because I'm some sort of lib or that, you know, I, I think Joe Biden is the savior of things. I will say that his uh, his red light Sith Lord speech definitely did uh, put things in the right direction for me. Um, in so far as, you know, giving me the incent, the idea that something has shifted or changed. Um, the real analysis here is, is that again, liberals are cringe. They are always cringe. This is just how it is. However, there has been a shift within at least the Biden administration to where we are hearing language that I don't think we've ever heard before. One of them is, you know, we're hearing things like, these people are sort of semi-fascists, you know, again, they're willing to not only commit to the bit, but they at least understand that that's the case. Um, we also are seeing, you know, real actual effort put through, right? There's, so there's the climate change stuff that got pushed through, which is obviously not everything we wanted, but it's something. There is the, there is the, uh, there is the, uh, obviously the student debt forgiveness stuff, which is based. That includes not only just the 10 to 20,000, but also the, um, 5% cap, which is the bigger deal there, right? We've talked about this a little bit. Um, not to mention the fact that like, you know, Trump's Mar-a-Lago place got raided and the, uh, it seems like the DOJ has him dead to rights on the fact that this guy was just trying to sell nuclear secrets, allegedly. Um... So it's a weird place to be in because I don't know if just the last few neurons that were preventing Biden from being based died or what, but I'm a big fan. And out of this has come some amazing memes because Biden is always looked at as a sort of doddering old fool who's the, you know, really struggles. Sometimes he's really spicy and then other times he's not. But it seems like there's a consistent thing here. I don't know if the, the multiple COVID's got him. I don't know if it was like, you know, they replaced him with a robot. I don't I don't know. But I do know is that he really does seem to be kind of going hard in a way where like he literally compared MAGA to fascists, which they are demonstrably. And I think that's cool. One of the major things that me and Zena believe on this channel that we don't get to talk about enough is the simple fact you need to take your W's. Can you think of a president in your lifetime that is referred to their opposition party who tried to create an insurrection as fascists? It does not exist. I cannot think of anything. Obama never went that hard. Fucking um, Bill Clinton never went that hard. Ever. 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 And yes, as, as Matt Herbert brought up, there are so many angry, like just, just butthurt, just so mad. Um, people about this, like you have conservatives losing their shit over what can only be described as them actually having somebody who, you know, is is going to push back on them. Even just a little bit. Like, even just a little bit of opposition as a treat. They seem to not be able to, like, fucking handle. That's how insane these people are. Um, additionally, and I gotta make this abundantly clear, like, you guys do understand that, like, we haven't seen this in our lifetime, where, again, a major party has been called fascistic. That's a big fucking deal. And I think we need to keep that in mind because there's going to be a, there's always going to be a strong preponderance of the really stupid parts of the left who are always going to, you know, mutter out some bullshit about how nothing matters, how there's never, you know, there's never any real progress. Um, it goes back to like the can't, the, the, the part of the, um, envy video for Contra, right? Where she talks about the fact that like, no joke, there is something to be said here about, I guess the best way to put it is there's something to be said here about 
when do you take your W's? When do you look at this as, as, as an absolute win? When do you look at this as something that's really positive? Is it exactly what we wanted? No. Full student, you know, student debt gone. People should go to school for free. Um, you know, are there things that he could do more of? Yes. But this is still a really big deal. And I want to be really clear on that because, again, we lefties because we are so often... so sad and i'm and i'm not trying to say like we're like the, the saddest pandas we deal with a lot of shit and because of that we tend to not want to actually dark brandon rises We tend to sit there and do that thing that, that that Contra talked about in Envy, where she basically says something to the effect of like, like, the revolution is coming. We do not accept small changes. We must we must only accept revolution and big changes. And the reality is, is that like sometimes you gotta take your W's. Sometimes you've gotta actually let yourself, you know, enjoy the fact that there is demonstrable good happening. Like what was the most recent thing? Like, there is a thing, um, Aaron on Twitter, Aaron of the Green, I think her name is, um, was posting about the fact that, like, on one of the governmental websites, they were asking about people's feedback about using Title IX for kids in schools, trans kids. And basically, long story short, was, like, it got flooded with TERFs, and so a bunch of trans people started posting in there to kind of push back. But, like, again, the Biden administration is actually trying to figure out legal ways to deal with that, it seems like. Do I think they'll be successful? Fuck if I know. But the fact is there's discussion about it. I mean, I know we want absolute equal rights and all that, and I'm not saying that's not the goal. That is the goal. It's always the goal. But again, for a president to even talk about trans people, trans kids even, again, like I, I don't want to get lost in the sauce about you know all these goals and not just look at the historic change that this is. Now, is he probably going to succeed on a lot of this? Probably not. Is he still going to probably get nickel and dime by, you know, corporatism and various other things that neoliberalism sucks at? Yeah. But I really, really, like Sage said, leftists take the W challenge impossible. Like, I don't know. That just, this just feels important. Um, so, yeah, I guess the overall thing is, is that the dark Brandon stuff is really cool. I think it's funny as shit. And I just also think that like Dark Brandon as a concept is again, it's nice to see a president actually kind of fighting against this stuff because it's really gross. You know? What do you guys think about this? In the comments, um, in chat, like what do you guys feel about this? Like, do you feel like there's a change in the wind? Do you think this is just for the election? Or do you feel like we're kind of seeing, you know, Biden maybe kind of break rank a little bit and actually do something. Because I legitimately don't know. That's true. It is a spiritual successor to anarcho-Bidenism. Wow, it sounds like we're getting hail. But anyway... Wanted to share that with you um, and just kind of make it clear, like, again, let's take some W's on this stuff. Do we need to work on more stuff? Absolutely, fucking lutely but just take a positive. And also just, like, go on Twitter or any other social media and just see how much these fucking people are molding. Like, just, just mad. Just the maddest. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, lots of love to y'all, and uh, I'm going to cut the segment here, so we'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, consider donating to us. You can support us on our website, transgirltherapist.org. You can also help us on our Patreon, link below, or you can become a member here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for watching.